Okay. Stay with me. Come on, you're gonna be okay. Frank. the colonel under surveillance. He was selling secrets about our space programs. Well, that's interesting, because Frank told me he was protecting him. Did he tell you this before or after you killed him? Why would I kill him? He was a friend of mine. You're right. That's not what happened. I saw it with my own eyes. Running out of jokes, are we? You set me up? Is that what this is? All we know is that the Colonel arranged for a meeting in that motel, and somehow, you showed up and killed him, Paul. You know, this may come as a surprise to you, but Frank didn't trust you guys anymore, so he asked me to back him up. He wanted someone from outside the agency, you know, to protect the package. Who was your backup, Dad? Do I get the feeling not telling you is the only thing keeping him alive? Hey, 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 come on. Come on, guys. Play nice. You mind? No. He's all yours. Get those off of him, please. I can't tell if he's stupid or a really good liar. Either way, huh. MS-1 would have been good for him. Guy's a tool. Nut. Now I'm trying to give him up. I was sorry to hear about Frank. He was one of the good guys. Snow, you gotta give me something. Otherwise, I can't help you. Tell me what I can do to help, Snoop. Uh, shoot Langrel? Anything else? Can you pick me up something? I can? What and where? I don't know. Uh, last time I saw it, it was on a train.
buddy. Hey! Tell me who the backup guy was. You think I'm gonna tell you that? You'll go straight to your boss. Well, I guess this, uh, this conversation's over. It's good to see you. I need a Polcom tag and a trace on a name. Mace. Mr. President. Scott, come in. This is just routine, won't take two seconds. Thank you. They check this damn thing five times a year. So, what have we got? He claims it was set up. <clears throat> was he? I saw him shoot Armstrong with my own eyes, sir. What a mess. So what do you want us to do about it? I don't even want to know. Just fix it. We're pretty much done here. I just need to see the first doctor. Oh, Emily has had a change in schedule. She's on a humanitarian errand. Is she even in Washington? Well, not exactly. Amazing. Is this your first time in orbit? No. My father took me up in the Hilton Orbital after my mother passed. Would you like a quick briefing before we arrive? Please. MS-1 has been a very successful experiment with the first 500 test cases serving time without incident. Once we open for business properly, we'll be able to rent space to 500,000 prisoners and counting with all countries signed up, all overseen by the United States of America. Which is why I'm here. MS-1 is the only supermax facility in existence where there is no physical or sexual abuse, breakouts, or riots. Because you put the prisoners to sleep. It's called stasis. Of course, but there are a few issues with stasis, are there not? Aggression due to damage to the cortex, dementia, psychosis. Well, you know the press. Good news doesn't sell. Those were early teething problems. The U.S. has absolutely nothing to worry about. You are entering we're United approaching. States airspace. Would you like to see it? I'd love to. This is Penal Area MS-1. 446 requesting identification code. The defense system is automatic and solar assisted. Oxygen fed, auto lock, 100 millimeter pacifiers made by Macron Aerospace. LM22, please transmit clearance. What are they doing? Parts of MS1 still under construction and need constant maintenance. LM22, you're on final approach. Maintain your current speed and heading. <laughs> Can everyone please sign in? There's just a few basic precautions here. Won't take long. Thanks, Sam. Can I get my holistic food? Please keep your radiation tags on you at all times. In the event of a problem, they will beep and flash yellow. Could you please take the elevator to the third floor? Mr. Barnes, isn't MS-1's true purpose to test the effects of deep space exploration on humans? They're better than guinea pigs with no rights. I've heard that urban legend. Look, Miss Warner. These men aren't traffic offenders. They've done some pretty awful things to get in here. Of course. But is it purely coincidental that one of the main sources of funding is a deep space exploration company? Surely you don't think they're paying out millions of dollars to be civically minded. Miss Warnock, I'm just an old prison warden. I couldn't speculate on the motives of global corporations. Anyway, isn't Milan Aerospace the largest contributor to your charity group? But one thing doesn't have to do with you, right? Sure, it does. We're gonna put on a little show. You'll get to meet a couple of convicts and have a scary story to tell your friends. And let's just hope that when you sign off on this place, we can all get back to making the world a better place. After you, man. This is general population. Yes, it is. 
Now, we prepared an interview room for you. We're going to need to have a look at that room. Well, that's fine. One thing, on the prisoner's side of the room, we don't allow weapons. Thank you. Thanks. Okay? Yeah, I'll see. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah. I thought I could smell you coming. I'm here to tell you the good news, Snow. You're finally getting spayed. Oh, congratulations. You've been convicted. First degree murder and conspiracy to commit espionage against the United States. That's the setup. Do you want to hear the punchline? Yeah, I'm dying to. MS-1. 30-year stasis. No parole, effective immediately. And nothing about a constitutional right to a fair hearing. I think you waived that right when you shot Armstrong. Oh, yeah, of course. I, I forgot that part. I'm sorry. You know what they say about being put under? That some minds just can't take it. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Sweet dreams. You, but I, I can't drive home. Mr. Heidel, how are you feeling? Are you experiencing any disorientation? I can't share that anymore. And what happened to your face? Did you burn it? Yeah. It's a little bite. I see. Yeah. I'm going to ask you a few questions about your experience and treatment here. Yeah. Do you dream while you're under? Well, I'm going to dream about you and her. I'd appreciate it if you take it seriously, though. Which is very serious. Very serious. So it says here you were convicted of aggravated physical assault? No. I'm an analogy to me. That's a case of mistaken identity. 53 counts? I have a very familiar face. No, it's not like your face. You have a very kind face. You know, it's lovely. You're perfect. You are. I bet you've got a nice smile. Do a little smile for me. Hey? Eh? Oh, smile. You've got a little bit. Ah! Easy! Hawk. Answer the question. Stay out of this, please. What's that smell in here? Calm down. You're wearing perfume. Mr. Heidel. Answer the question. Hawk. You're a filthy article, man. You are a bad man. You want to test me? Sit down. Hawk. I'm just... Hawk. Hawk. Do you know what he was before I was convicted of eight cops? You promised me shit. Hawk. That was a pickpocket. Huh? Hawk. He's got a gun. Here to you. Here, hey, man. Have I heard your news? Come here. Yo. Uh, here. Uh, Sit down. Uh, Open them all up right now. Every single one. No, I, I, I don't think that's... Think. You should think. Okay, okay. 
Proper egg heat. Ah, ah. Turn on the guns. Here, calm down. There we go. That's clever, isn't it? Okie dokie. Leave it. Oh, why leave it, man? Come on. I said leave it. Now, get out. Sir, within the last hours, there's been a massive infraction on Supermax MS-1. It's a takeover. Oh, God. Emily, is she? She's fine, according to her telemetry. But the situation is critical. We can have special forces up there on site within six hours. To do what, exactly? I just mean, what order do we give, Mr. President? What are you saying? I'm asking. Are we talking about saving all the hostages, or are we talking about saving just one in particular? Now, we can send in the Marines, but we have no real idea of the whereabouts of your daughter on board. As soon as we launch this large-scale offensive, my guess is, well, she's as good as dead, sir. Or what? We can send in one man. One man with one very specific order, to get Emily Warnock out. Who? Oh. I'd rather castrate myself with blunt rocks. Why don't you get Rupert to do it? Hey, how's it going? 
It's the best offer you'll get. Don't get me wrong, it's a dream vacation. I mean, I, I load up, I go into space, I get inside the maximum security nuthouse, save the president's daughter if she's not dead already, get past all the psychos who've just woken up. I'm thrilled that you would think of me. Hmm. See you in 30 years. Hmm. Wait, Snow, you should really think about this because it could benefit all of us. Okay, I'm joking, I'll do it. Oh, Frank Slider. Oh. oh. <laughs> Prisoners exactly? 497. Mainly rapists and murderers. It'll fit right in. How do we know she's not dead already? She's wearing a telemetry medical transmitter. All the first family have them. They used to live in the big white house. So we know she's alive. And she has had some blood loss, but it's nothing life threatening so far. So if I actually find her, then she is alive. How do we get off the ship? Easy. Hit your right, man. There's an escape pod on level five. It's not on any of the schematics, but you can find it on this map. It'll guide you to the pod and give you the access code. The pod will take the two of you off, MS-1. Is that clear? Yeah, clear as mud. Here. What's that for? Climbing down off sidewalks? Hey, no, no, no. <laughs> it's explosives. You join those two ends, you got a nine second charge. It's great too for opening heavy secure panels or uh, bulkheads. Bulkheads? Uh huh. I gotta get out of here. That's enough. I gotta get out of here. That's okay. You go to sleep now. Anyone else? I need a doctor to get this stitched up. Thank you. Hey, lab coat. You move. Doc, let's go. Hey, whoa, wait, she's not a doctor. Easy there, okay. tough guy. Easy. Okay. Let's go. Get your oh. ass up. Get your ass up. Stitch up. What the hell is going on here? We're taking over. And who are you? Secret Service. I didn't hear anything about this. That'll be why they call it secret, right? What's happening? They demanded a negotiator. He's prepping now. They've been leaving a live feed open. This is Special Agent Scott Langrell, and I'm in charge of this situation. In charge? That's where you're very much mistaken. So there she is, right in the hornet's nest. Let me know when you've picked up on it, won't you? When I want your opinion, I'm gonna give it to you. Okay. Hey, picked up on, on what? 
Oh, nothing, you know. Just so they don't know they've got the president's daughter. That's all. So, you like working in space? Yeah, I like it. You do? You get dizzy? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes? Yeah, I would. It's no. How do you figure that out? Far be it for me to teach you how to suck eggs, but you think they might have said something. Hmm? And they've got our plain doctor. I'm just saying. Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention? We've prepared a little, um, demonstration. Heinz? Oh, Heinz? Look, sure, man, let me find out. Listen, if you're gonna shit yourself, now be a perfect time in that. Go on, boys. No. Here we go. We have an ETP. No! Oh, no! No! No, 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 no. I can help you! Can you help me? I can help you! We need to help you! It's about chill here tonight. Don't do this. Don't do this. Wait, wait, wait! I can help you! Wait! Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. No! I cannot fight the girl! The girl! The girl! Yeah. Hey! She's the president! Yeah. The girl! She's the girl! Oh, man! You see the look on his face? He was about to say something. I bet you see someone like... Ah! <laughs> Tell me you are not still thinking of negotiating with these psychos. This is all over the news in six hours. Then they're gonna know who she is. We should just stick to the plan. The plan? You can send your boy in if you want. I'm just doing what's best for the situation right now. Right? Thank you. I'm happy not to go. You going? Okay. Go now. All right. It's okay, easy. Things you're asked for on the way. Is everybody okay? For the time being, sure. We're doing our bit. I was wondering, what are you gonna do for us? Don't tell me. You're looking for the hostage. That'd certainly be a good start. Hey, four eyes. Ain't no one leaving, mine. No. You hear me? No. Can I talk to you privately for a minute? If this works, I'll wear a tutu and a pink pantyhose. No. Let's be ready, okay? Okay. This thing is contained right now. But you keep blasting people out of the airlock. Press gets involved, and all bets are off, and nobody goes anywhere. Now, you look like a smart guy, so I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. They're gonna let you go. But you really think they're gonna let 500 convicts go? You. Maybe five or six others can get out of here. It's what we call breakage. Why should I give up a hostage? You know why they really ask for a hostage, don't you? Because it tells them one important thing. This guy's in charge here. Maybe you're not the guy who makes decisions around here. Don't go there. I'm definitely the man you should be talking to. Okay, all right, show me you're in charge then. Give me a hostage. Can I trust you? You can trust me. Let's hold on. This, uh, stuffed shirt may well pull this off. Oh, Jesus, come and go in. Make up your mind. One hostage. One. Who do you want? Whoever. Usually one of the wounded. But I don't know, maybe a woman. <laughs> a wounded woman's always popular. Okay, we got eight principles. Four Lovell riot shotguns, three Berettas, Lovell semis. You choose. Up. Get up. Why me? Get up! Honey, you... you'll be fine. It looks like my plan is working. Sorry. No, 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 no,
No heart, no, 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 no heart. A decision's been made. Please, man, no heart. Not that one, no. Take another one. Crawl back under your stone. Don't say that! This woman needs medical assistance. Come on. I didn't realize. I forgot. I just let myself run away with my shell, you know. You want a wounded hostage. Oh, 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 back off. Go and see your friend's cock. Oh, no. You wanted a wounded hostage, and now you have one, don't you, eh? Everybody's happy. Everybody wins, eh? You happy? Oh, Captain, yeah? Okay. Oh, snow has gone bad. You gotta get in there, man. Get in there. Catherine, we're gonna get you home, okay? Catherine? It's a setup for some guy I tried climbing on board. Catherine, I just need you to breathe with me. Listen, I, I was just doing what I was about. Catherine? Catherine, look at me. I, yeah, I, please. Catherine. You said I could trust you. Listen, I was just gonna. Wait. Bring them back inside. Come on, Emily, let's go. Come on now. I'll do something useful. You go find that man and kill him. I don't want to see you till it's done. Why don't we just kill that lunatic? Because he's my brother. Okay, hold on, nearly there, ne okay, got it. Uh, you need to look around and you should see a, uh, a sealed port. You got it? Yeah, I see it. Okay, I need you to pull back on the small, quick release. Right. Are you in? Snow. Snow? Snow, can you hear me? Here. Nothing getting through that. So what now? You wait. They're sending the Marines. It won't be long. Snow, what's going on? Uh, oh, global warming. Some celebrities getting a boob job. Congress is screwing the pooch again. You know, same old. <laughs> no. Come on, man. I mean, what's going on there? Oh, yeah. Well, your wildcat smacked me in the head with a fire extinguisher and locked herself in some room. So she's safe. Send the cavalry. Hey, listen, Snow, you stick to the plan, you better do your job. Or I'll hit you with a Sherman tank. Got that? A Sherman tank? Yeah, right. Toss my cable angle. I got other things to do. Hey, Snow.
answer to all our problems lies behind this door. Get me a security engineer. Actually, bring me two. Snow, can you hear me? Snow. Come on, Snow. Snow, can you hear me? It's Lang. I want you to go in and get her now. Uh, actually, that's a little inconvenient right now. I don't care. She's losing oxygen. She's suffocating. You understand? You're making this up, right? Snow, it's Harry here. This, this is for real. At the current rate of nitrogen buildup, she will be dead in how long? Five minutes, man. Yeah, well, contrary to popular belief, I'm not actually Houdini. And those things are designed to be impregnable, so I'm not sure what you're asking me to do. You all right? Hopefully this will short-circuit me, the inevitable it-can't-be-done discussion. I need this door open. You should see a ladder in front of you. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, I need you to take it. And then, when you're over, you gotta go straight ahead. And, uh, here's where it gets a little bit tricky. I need you to get to the other side, correct? Uh, uh what, what do you want me to do, fly? I, I think I left my cape at home. I need you to listen to this, buddy. Go. The gravity generated by the torsion system will hold you up. You gotta trust me on this. You should just glide right over. Really? Yeah! Oh! Trying to get it open. Can they do that? This may take a bit longer. That really is unfortunate. We're gonna need a new engineer. This one sprung a leak. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes start now. Shoot me if you want, but I can guarantee this open if you give me five minutes. Good sales pitch. Oxygen levels depleted. Oh, God, no. Please seek medical assistance. 
Please seek medical assistance. Okay, Lily. Listen to me very carefully. Nitrogen is lighter than oxygen, so there will be more at full level. Pretty shallow, but steady. Keep your heart rate low. I'm sorry. Something happened. Somehow she found more oxygen, but that'll only give us a minute or so. No, you gotta get in there. EEG activity declining. Brain death in 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Lost 20 seconds and then this is all over. Yeah, I should have stayed in college. Okay. Hot girl on the floor. Big hole in her leg. Okay, first let's get the motor going. Open the medipack. We need to get the defib kit. 15 seconds. You know the counting thing? It's not very relaxing. Gel them, place them on the chest. Center under the right arm. Make sure they stay on. Ten seconds. <sighs> Bingo, got an induced pulse. Seven, six. So why is there still counting? Not done yet. Find the vitodermic label 20 cc's, serotonin, norepinephrine. What the hell do I do with this? It's a neurotransmitter stimulant. You've got to push the needle through the center of her right eye into the brain. <laughs> oh, come on. You're kidding me, right? Move it around until it locates the thalamus. It's self-guiding, <sighs> then fire it. Yeah, we got activity, all right? She's doing a lambada in here. Now get some air in there. What, mouth to mouth? Mouth to mouth. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. It's okay, it's okay. What the hell are you doing? I am bringing you back from the dead. I was dead. Yeah, and so far, I, I think I prefer you that way. <laughs> Come on, that's enough foreplay. We're gonna get out of here. left. Okay, this way. Then go about, uh, 50 feet. But watch your back, man. Remember Kiev. Hold it. Her BP is dropping. She's losing too much blood. <laughs> Pink Snow, stop saying check him in his leg. Yeah. I'll put it on the to-do list. <laughs> You're almost there, buddy. I understand you're the prison's communications expert. I have a job for you. Now it is vitally important that you go the right way, whatever you do, for Christ's sake, don't go down on the... Harry? Harry? Hey, Snow, can you hear me? Oh, shit. <sighs> They've killed transmission. Who did? <sighs> Little transmission fairies. What do you think? Greg, what the hell is happening here? This way. Are you sure? Yeah. You don't sound sure. Well, I am. It's electromagnetic lockout. Oh, Find a way to get me back in, because we're flying blind here. I thought you said you were sure. Really a lot of fun, you know that? Come on, don't worry. It's perfectly safe. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, you don't have to do that. A simple thank you is enough. Oh, asshole. <clears throat> so, um... Well, we lost them, huh? Right. Sorry. Thank you. Oh. Oh, yuck. Hmm. Who are you? 
are you? Who sent you? Your old man did. My dad. What did he say? Uh, well, I didn't get to meet him personally. He kind of delegated your rescue. We had a big conference on the corn surplus. You're kidding me. No, no, apparently we should all be eating more corn. About my father. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I made that other bit up. Did he have a message for me? Yes, you are adopted. Are you the only type of jerk they found for this kind of mission? The only one stupid enough to say yes. So, what's the plan? Surely you have a plan to rescue the hostages? What hostages? The hostages, the staff, the guards. Should I write it out in crayon? I came here to rescue you and mission accomplished. And quite well, I might add. Are you just thrilled being yourself all day or is it a part-time job? I'm not kidding, we can't just leave them. Leave who? The hostages! <coughs> Ow! What is that? That's to stop the bleeding and hopefully the talking. They will die if we leave them. Listen, we're not going back to rescue any hostages, okay? We're getting out of here after I do one thing. There, that's the plan. Are you always this obnoxious? Shh. Did you hear something? No, I'm just enjoying the silence. You asshole. We are not leaving them. Listen, it's really very sweet of you, but there's not a lot of room for anybody else, okay? It's kind of a VIP deal. Get it? What I get is you're a selfish dick. That'll freeze the nerves in this spot for 24 hours. <clears throat> you want some in your mouth? No? Okay, see here on the map? Yeah. That's where the pot is. You get in it, you fly away, the good guys will come and get you, okay? On my own? You're a big girl, right? Here's an apple and a gun. Don't talk to strangers. Shoot them. This is the plan you agreed on with my father? Yeah, he said it'll toughen you up. Apparently you need that. Well, I'm, I'm sure I'll be... Fine. Where are you going? Oh, I got a hot day. It's been a real slice, so good luck and good luck with the leg thing. Okay, the map, you gotta flip it. It's upside down. No, no, so you can see this screen. Which way's north? Okay, we're in space now, so it's not north. It's port and starboard. Thanks. You're doing great. Can I have your attention? You wanna get out of here? Our meal ticket is a woman, and she's been on the run for some time now. We need her alive, and we need her as soon as possible. Now they're gonna try and leave the station. Watch everywhere. Yeah, okay, you can tag along, but maybe don't, don't talk. Just keep it zipped. Here, give me the map. Okay, we go this way. North. Hey there, she had a mess here. Shmaila. Hey, why do they do that? Do what? The marking on the face. Other prisoners do it to them. Let's everyone know you're a rat. Here, put these on. No. They don't come in pink. You can't walk past 500 wax jobs dressed like a chick. Oh, so this is part of your plan. So kind of you to clue me in. You can't smoke in here. All evidence to the contrary. So, so what do I call you? You know what? Don't call me. What's your name? No. Snow? Yeah, or sir, you can decide. What's your first name? Snow. Your name is Snow Snow? Well, that's just ridiculous. Why won't you tell me your name? I just did. No, you didn't. What is that? Uh, engine oil, coffee, some water, I just get out of the toilet. 
Benches, what do you plan on doing with it? I plan on putting it in your hair. If you would like to play witness protection and shampoo and toilet water, be my guest. Not me. Come on, it'll be fun. Not on your life. Ah! Isn't that fun? Huh? You're a pig. Thank you. You always treat women this way? Always. Well, only if I like them. You have any idea what my father would do to you? Ah, oh, jeez. Not raise taxes again. Yeah. Yeah, you look good. Oh, something's missing. What? It's okay, it's okay. It's only cosmetic. It's only cosmetic. It's nothing personal. Here, look, 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 look. It'll probably save your life. Hey, you look tough now, see? <laughs> Ow. Oh. You really are a naughty boy, Special Agent. What you thought we wouldn't find out. I don't know what you're talking about. You tell Warnock that we have his daughter. And unless we get what we want, you tell your boss that our family. Convicts, all too eager to um educate his little girl. Okay. What do you want? What's happened? Is Emily okay? What's going on here, man? What does it look like? We're going on a hunting trip. What are you going to get? I mean, let me come. No. Don't leave me behind, man. What am I going to do here? Nothing. I don't do anything stupid when I'm gone. This is main containment, so don't draw attention to yourself. What if this doesn't work? Well, then we're probably gonna die. Is that your idea of encouragement? What can I say? I'm sorry it's not one of your fancy presidential society functions. Where do you get these ideas about me? Oh, I don't know. You know, you just don't seem like the kind of girl who'd go bowling. Excuse me, bowling? I happen to be great at bowling. Really? You go bowling? Yeah, every Tuesday. There's a lane at the White House. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That is hardly my fault. Careful. It's starting to sound like your old man. Here. Not even loaded. Dude. You're a dude. Okay? No. Well, you, you could get out of the way. No problem. Just give me the password. Oh, yeah. I like your pretty boy, buddy. <clears throat> Does he like the party? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like it's 1999. Don't you? Oh. You don't know the password. Then there's a penalty. <laughs> Jesus, 
I thought you were a Democrat. Bitch, son of a bitch. What the hell's wrong with you, buddy? Buddy, buddy, you, buddy, you, be no, no, not to be, no, wrong. Uh, what's going on, man? I know what this is. It's dementia. Oh come on, he's like thirty-five. It's from the stasis. Some people just unravel. Gravel. So it's true. True, true, <laughs> true, true. <laughs> True blue, uh, you need stew to do on not to do, right? No, wrong, uh, wrong. Uh, lullaby, uh, lullaby, lullaby, lullaby. Shit. I need you to get me something. Now you're asking a crazy man where he hit a briefcase that you threw away in a crowded subway station. Mace, Mace, remember the case? Huh? The package? The train station, I threw it to you, on the train. Where'd you put it? Right. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I put it, um... Yeah. In my pants. In your pants? Y yeah, cause Sister Mary, she said it was bad, bad to, to take it out in church in front of the other kids. And when you do bad things, the angels, they, they cry. That's what Sister Mary says. It's a disruption in his cortical circuitry. It's why I'm here. It's just bad news, that's what it is. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Why are you bringing him? He's one of them. He's safer without us. I need him. For what, this phantom briefcase? You'd be lucky to get a rescue for mud pies out of this guy. He's coming with us, okay? End of story. I know exactly what I'm doing. God damn it. Okay, this way, this way. Gotta go. Go, go, go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Go, go, go. Okay, go, go, go. I foresee you. I see you. I see you. I foresee you. Lullaby. I foresee you. Hold on, buddy. You want something done? 
me a change of plan. Down here. Well, that's that then. I'm sorry. Yeah, right, I'm sure you are. I know he was your friend. I don't need your sympathy, okay? Neither does he. No. No, he needed a friend who wouldn't hang him out to dry. Yeah, I'm taking the rap for something I didn't do, okay? I didn't put him here. Who cares? People die all the time, it's no big deal. How many people have died for you since you got here, huh? Oh, but you're the president's daughter, so you're worth it, right? Looks like your little PR trip got all screwed up. I came here to ensure that people were being treated fairly and decently, unlike yourself. You know, it's easy to be a saint with nothing on the line. You wait till you've got a serious sacrifice to make, and then you'll find out who you really are. Most people run for cover. But not you, right? No. No. You just sacrifice your friends. Sorry, hold on. You're saying that the International Space Station ran into MS-1? No, I'm saying the opposite. MS-1 ran into the International Space Station. I thought it was locked in order. It was controlled by a geo-orbital technician. And where is this technician? They blew him at an airlock. Look, MS-1 is essentially a big fly-by-wire system. Without constant monitoring, it's basically falling out of the sky. What's the bottom line? Best guess. Please. Impact with the eastern seaboard in eight hours. Can you get me a secure line to check towers, Justice? Bingo. It's a rescue mission. <laughs> That's not a rescue mission. Come on. I thought you said there were two seats. Uh, no, two pods. You take this one, I'll jump in the other one. Where's the other one? We haven't got time for this, okay? Just get in. You are going in the other pod, right? I'll be right behind you, don't worry. Promise me. Yeah, okay, I promise. What is your first name? <laughs> I'll tell you when we get there. I'll race you down. I'll buy you an ice cream. Please stand clear. Launch in five, four, three, two. Sir, we have pod launch on MS-1. What do you know? Your deadbeat friend did it. <laughs> Is this your idea of keeping a promise? What the hell is wrong with you? Why'd you get out of the pod? I realized I might be the only thing keeping the hostages alive. Really? How'd you figure that? My father won't authorize an attack with me still here. Have you actually met your father? Don't start that. We have to help them. Look, I can't, okay? I would love to, but I can't. Mace told me where the case is. Bullshit. What was the last thing he said? Really? So where is it? You help me, I help you. Oh, come on. Or are you all mouth, no trousers? <laughs> Fine. You'll believe what you want. I wasn't going to tell you, but your standards of sainthood crap won me over. Okay, wait, wait. I'm a lot of trousers, okay? My love. I've been a change of plan to We're gonna have a shank shall we see it, okay? All right now. Come back to me, my sweet, my little Emily. Oh, God. I'm not told you the plan, man. I didn't tell you the plan. For every three seconds you're not here, I'm gonna kill a man. You understand me now? So, come back. 
I'll do anything you want. I'm in there, yeah. You're being silly. I think you're being silly now. Let me come and get you. Huh? Tell me where you are. Don't lie, Ava. Emily, don't. Stop killing people. You tell me the truth now, and I'll stop shooting your friends. Okay? Level three. He was going to kill them all anyway. I don't really know where the case is. I just needed you to help me. This is what I was afraid of. They've been using the prisoners as guinea pigs. Yeah, looks like your hostage buddies are not exactly the innocent victims you thought they were, huh? Liars everywhere these days, it seems. Don't move. Oh, God, I hate that. Hello, you two. Turn on the comms. Sir, comms alive. All channels. Snowfall. This is home five. Come in. Oh. Snowfall, this is home five. Come in. Can we make this a secure channel, please? Snow? Snow, you there? Barry, is that you? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Live and direct for one night only. You? Yeah. Put me on the guest list. <laughs> Did we manage to make contact with our friend? Affirmative. And, uh... What about the thing that you lost? Did our friend come through for us? Negative, Harry. Okay. Don't sweat it. Look, things are kind of oh. got sideways here. You gotta get out. I didn't get the girl. Ain't that the story of your life? Yeah. From what I'm reading on our vitals here, it don't look good. There's no way for you to get back to her, even if she's not already dead. Famous one is falling out of the sky, Snow. You gotta get out. Okay. Get to Dock 9. There's an ORAM engineering suit there. Put it on and get outside. Uh, you'll need to float around a bit, but I'm sending someone by to pick you up. Okay? I think I'm just gonna lie here for a while. See if it all goes away. No. Oh. All right. Ow. The 
Uh, MS-1 is destabilized. Let us on board, or we'll be forced to attack. No. You want to save your skin? Tell your daddy to call off the assault. Or I will send my brother on to you. Promise a sweetheart. Eh? Leave her be. That's it, then. Sir, you need to authorize an assault. Emily's still on the station. I know this might be difficult, sir, but she's just one hostage. She is my daughter. I know that, sir. Then you know that I cannot authorize that. Then I'm sorry, Jack. Sorry? Under Section 4 of the 25th Amendment, I am temporarily relieving you of all your duties as the President of the United States due to the fact that you're incapable of placing national security above personal concerns. You can't do that. You need Vice Presidential and Congressional approval. Already signed. Son of a bitch. Thank you, sir. Scott, please. Don't do this. You'll kill her. Go. Full breach. Quarterback, this is home fire. Drop kick authorized. Full breach. Promise to me. Quiet, we can salvage this. Shut up for a second. That was a promise to me, man. Not now. You just have over me, you leave me behind. We have a serious problem and you're you're shouting about this. You made me look stupid. Every time I dig this out of <laughs> Mommy said you speak too much. Who's gonna look after you now? Families. Hey, no, no. Where were we, Smiler? Ah. Body will be joined live now. Watch out. The defense system is still active.
Counts here, man. Get outside. I gotta tell you, I, I really hate heights. Warning system critical. Emily, come on, Emily. Come on, buddy, oh. get up. Okay, let's go. Briefcase, train station, I threw you the case. Where'd you put it? Where'd you put it? Yes, remember the package, huh? The train station? True blue, Union. Union. True blue, Union, Stew, no. True blue, Union, Stew. Some people just unravel. And now you're asking a crazy man where he had a briefcase. Good green beans. Lock lock locker. Locker. Green. Green floppy. Stop it. Stop it. Remember the case? Where'd you put it? I threw it to you on the train. Mace. Case. Where'd you put it? Green green. Well, lock. Clock. Lullaby. 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 Green floppy. Lullaby. What briefcase? I see, I see you. I see you. I foresee you. I foresee you. I see you. I foresee you. What happened in that room?
There's something that we need to do. Thanks, Charlie. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good. How's the girl? As far as they'll tell me, she's fine. You did a good job. Sorry about Mace. And that you didn't get the thing you needed. No, no, I got it. No, I'm, I mean the, uh, the briefcase. Yeah. Yeah, I got the briefcase. You got the briefcase? Yeah. I thought that you... No, it's here. The case is here? Yeah. You want to see it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Charlie, you grab it? You know Frank was undercover when he was killed, right? He was... He wasn't selling secrets, he was returning them. Yeah. I, uh... I don't understand. What I don't understand is, is how you knew the combination. That's... that's what I don't understand. Frank's life. Does the number it? even matter, Snow? I hope they put you away for a long time. You know, I don't think they will. You of all people know that they like to keep all this, these kind of things on the down low. My guess, I'll do three years tops and minimum security. And you want to know why? Because they need people like me. I know all of their uh, dirty little secrets. Ain't that right? I'm sorry about Frank, but in the big scheme of things, he'll go down as an innocent bystander. He won't even make the balance sheet, just like you, because he's a relic. I mean, God, look at you. Nobody smokes anymore, Snow. You know, for all your, uh, your bluster and your bullshit, you're nothing but cannon fodder. You're cannon fodder, and they don't need you like they need me, okay? Ignan ah! Farron. That was from Frank. So, all this trouble for an empty briefcase. Don't let it keep you up at night. Thanks, Charlie. Hey, Snow. Good job. I know something about you. Amazing what you can find out as first daughter in old army documents. Last name Snow, first name Marion. My old man was a big John Wayne fan. Must have been tough on the playground. That's why I'm so lovable. <laughs> Looks like you're a free man. Thanks to you. What kind of Robin Hood would I be if I didn't stop to rescue Maid Marion once in a while? Okay, you can stop that. Snow's just fine. No, I'm getting used to Marion. I really like it. it. Makes me see your feminine side. Oh, great. I've got something for you. Oh! Ah! What the hell was that for? Ah! Uh, I owe you that. <laughs> I really feel we need to continue this on an equitable basis. You know, for a minute there, I thought you were gonna kiss me.
Where is the entourage? Gave him the slip. I need to thank for teaching me that. Nice work. I'm still bleeding, Marion. And you wonder why I didn't tell you my first name. All right, how about Sally? It has a nice ring to it. Yes, it does, but I prefer snow. <laughs> I can't call you that. It sounds like an ice cream. Speaking of which, I believe you owe me one. You know, I've got this feeling your old man's not going to approve of this. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't really see this going anywhere, can you? Depends on how good you are in bed. Well, in that case, I'll give you at least ten minutes. <laughs> Yeah.